This box is a Zima board, too. Well, actually, it's the box for a Zima board, too. The Zima board is a cool home server. Like any home server, the Zima board is designed to host your files and your movies and your photos and all of that locally on your own network. Now, if you've heard of Zima board, you might remember the first generation, which was a little bit of a controversial device. Some folks felt it was not worth the premium price tag that it was being sold for. Well, they heard that feedback, and the Zima board, too, is an upgrade in every way. A faster CPU, faster RAM, faster PCIe slot, and this full metal enclosure that works both as a passive heatsink and as a very cool design element. They put a lot of thought into every element of the Zima board experience. One of my favorite parts is the cardboard box that the board came in. If you cut it in half, it actually works as a nice mounting plate to put a couple hard drives and your Zima board. Once you actually boot it up, you get into Zima OS, which is their Linux-based operating system that makes it really easy to run all sorts of open source applications on this device. I'm not gonna tell you the Zima board is for everyone. It's for people who want to tinker a little less than a Raspberry Pi and a little more than a Synology or another NAS, but it's a cool middle ground, and I think for some people, it's going to be a great fit.